Okay, so for this first part, let's go over and let's create a new Zap. And we're going to do this entirely in Zapier for a start. There is um, obviously ways you can do it creating external tools, and we'll do that in another tutorial. But for this case, we're just going to keep it all internal to Zapier. So for the first part, we're going to add a what's called a push by Zapier trigger. So this is a trigger that sits in your um, Chrome extension browser, and you can use that to press on a URL and it'll take the title of the page and the URL and pass it through to the next step and then we can include some custom data as well. So push by Zapier, the trigger event is going to be a new push with fields and the form text we're going to want to include a summary to pass through as well. If you haven't installed it, go through, follow this link, just get it installed and it'll put it up here into the top right. Press continue. Make sure you give this zap a name, I always forget to name my zaps, I end up with a long list of unnamed zaps. So if you now press test continue, what it's going to do, it's going to wait um, for you to go and find a URL that you want to work with. So we, for this tutorial, we're going to use three uh, no-code blog posts. The first one is going to be this one by Ryan Hoover, The Rise of No Code, you may have read it. And we're going to want to press this Zapier extension up here and you should see this testing in orange which means that it is waiting for you to submit some data. Press that, select that and then we're going to want to input a summary. If we send that, you should see green and if you go back into Zapier we should be able to pull this in in a couple of seconds and you can check the data has come through here okay perfect also while we're on this step it's probably a good idea to create a, a custom field in here also and call this title just because sometimes what happens is people have really long titles and then there is a limit with this um, integration that can only deal with 32 characters so if you want to add a title, we can go back and test this again. That's going to wait for a new push. I'm going to go here again. I'm going to add that as the title. Send that data back through. And we've got a shorter title and a bit of a more comprehensive summary. And then again, just wait for it to come back through. Select that new that new push, make sure you've got the title and the summary in there, go down and press done with editing. Right, once you've got that first push set up with the title and the summary fields, you're ready to move on to the next part. Mm -hmm.